Obviously adoption is a different kind of beginning for a family and this is one of the sweetest blessings of being able to breastfeed him. successfully made two runny eggs as Mary requested. Dippy. Dippy, Dippy runny. <laughs> Same end result, different gag factor. <laughs> okay, funny story about eggs. Well, one, we don't eat eggs very often. One, it usually makes Mary sick. I think she's <laughs> feeling living on the wild side today. But you're just gonna eat one of those, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna eat one. But when I was young, what, one of my memories from my childhood was whenever we would visit the town that my parents grew up in, and it was where my grandparents lived, my dad would sometimes take me out to breakfast at this uh, breakfast place that had really good breakfast deals, and it was delicious. <laughs> For some reason, going out to breakfast was just such a treat. It was magical for some reason. I would get orange juice and I would get eggs, toast, and bacon because that was what my dad would get. And so... The two, two, two! Yeah, the, I think it was called the two, two, two. And oh. two pieces of bacon, two eggs, and... Um, or did it have pancakes instead of toast? I don't know. Whatever it was, it was delicious, but I never knew how to order my eggs. And she, the waitress would go, and how do you want your eggs? And I'd look at my dad, however he orders his eggs, that's how I'll, I'll eat my Aww. eggs, because I didn't know how to order it. And um, oh, I, yes. from my recollection, I think it was he ordered them over easy. Yes, yes, yes. And that's like this, right? Yes. Where's our child? He's asleep by the fire. Oh, nice. A Good. safe distance from the fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's, so, he's so peaceful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love... Okay. Some of my favorite moments. That's what I wanted oh, to Oh, you do. want to talk about this? Okay, let's talk. Okay, oh, I gotta get a fork though. They're, they're here. You have to use mine. There's no fork. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get the disposable sparkly ones, and there's only one left. Well, uh, there's dishes in the dishwasher. Oh, are, are they clean? That are clean. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, can I go ahead and say some of my favorite moments? I think when I come down in the morning from. Okay, so our kind of routine we're, we're settling into is about 10 p.m. We all go to bed. We put Elijah in his crib. We, we put ourselves in bed <laughs> and we go to sleep. And then whenever he wakes up, I kind of take over for the night. And um, it's really important for us to kind of protect Mary's sleep time for her body and her health. So I take care of Elijah during the night and he's doing great sleeping. And so I really love my time with him during the night. But when I wake up in the morning, Mary gets up usually around six to seven and she takes over so I can sleep a couple more hours. And then I get up and I come downstairs and I find my family. No. And we sit down here by the fire and just soak up these moments. Now, your turn. Favorite okay. moments. Well, um, hold on. I want you to eat your egg before it gets cold, though. It's th literally three bites. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, halfway done. <laughs> so, 
a couple I wanna do I wanna do um like a shout out category. Okay. Hold on, are you not gonna finish this? You can have the the leftover yolk. Ooh. Mm. If I'm gonna get sick, I'm not gonna waste it on three bites. I'm gonna have an extra couple bites. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Okay. Um I wanna do like a shout out to the baby category. Okay. What I have a few shout outs. Okay. Can you scoot me my pile? <laughs> this is your the shout whole, out? The whole thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Shout out to the babies. Okay. Shout out. Well, first, okay. I don't even know what is this start. Is this like Jimmy Kimmel thank you letters? Kind of. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Bamboo Fabric Hats. Yes. These hats are so stretchy. So you guys just Google like bamboo baby hat. There you go. Do they sometimes call it viscose? Viscose, modal, rayon, any of those are gonna be good for you. Elijah lives in them. Yes, and it's funny, he was born in a very warm state. And the pediatrician at the hospital told us like, because their heads are proportionately so large for their bodies, when they're newborns, they can lose a lot of heat from their, their heads, so like, keep a hat on a lot of the time, mm -hmm. which is no problem because we love hats. So his little hats, they're so wonderful. I love them. Okay. And, um, that was a good shout out. Yeah. Shout out to binkies <laughs> because they're awesome. Yes. They're so cute and quintessential baby and he loves them. Yes. And he's flexible on which style you give him. Mm -hmm. Except there was one style I gave him and he gagged. It, it was, was too big, right? It was a newborn oh, one. Oh, really? <laughs> like this one is labeled for like six months, but it was nearby, so I gave it to him and it was fine. But that style, the ma'am style, he was mm. not into it. Can I give a shout out? Yeah. Shout out to coffee. <laughs> Speaking of our shout out to coffee, we wanted to pop in here and show you guys a new mug that's available <laughs> on our online store. I like that you actually brewed coffee in it, so we have can, to be really careful. The, can you see the steam? <laughs> um, well, literally, I'm drinking a lot of coffee these days. And this new mug with our new design, Joy, Gratitude, and Grit, which we have a whole product line available in our online store. He just came downstairs, and this is another new shirt that he has created. The camera isn't quite picking up the right color, it's like a muted brick. Check this out. Joy, gratitude, grit. Here, okay, these shirts. I love that. We have a long sleeve, uh, just uh, the front. It has joy, gratitude, and grit on the pocket. As you can see from the stains, he's been wearing this shirt I've been, a lot. I've been living in these shirts. Yeah. I, when we went to the beach back in whenever that was, in the fall. Oh yes. I was in a surf shop, I, I felt a shirt. Uh-huh. And I was like, I have to find that shirt. The supplier. The supplier, and it didn't have a tag on it, like it was custom branded for some surf company. <laughs> and so I did a lot of Googling <laughs> that night, and I found these, it's an amazing company called Soft Shirts out of South Carolina, and they are supplying our pocket tee. So this is a pocket tee, and this green one is a pocket tee. They are so soft. They are like classic, worn in almost feeling. Like yeah. when you walk into the surf shop and you feel the shirt and you're like, oh, it feels like it's already been worn and it's delightful. Yeah, we love them. We do. And so we source them. We're making, we're putting the decals on here from our house and shipping them from here. And we're excited to have them for you guys. But, but wait, there's more. So with the coffee mug, we are bundling it with a tote bag in gold letters, joy, joy, gratitude, and grit. And I liked the gold so much that I ordered sweatshirts to put the gold on as well. So we have a navy sweatshirt. I love these items. And with the surf shop theme, we got this fun this coral. is how would you describe highlighter this? coral highlighter coral there you sure. go that's that captured the color joy gratitude and grit we hope you guys love these items as much as we have we've enjoyed creating them dreaming of them and here they are 
You've done so well, Peter. And I, this shirt, I just, I'm loving you love this. this one? And then, can we see the back one more time? Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> shout out to you guys for supporting our online store. Yes. It's part of the way we are able to make these videos. And now back to the shout outs. Shout out to baby socks that actually stay on. These are like a soft a chenille feeling. I don't know if that's the right word. They're like a fuzzy sock, basically. These actually stay on him. Shout mm. out. Shout out to absorbent cloth. Mm. Whether that's a cloth diaper, which we love the cloth diapers. We're all about it. We had no idea. We had prepared to do cloth diapering, um, but we also had some disposables here at the house. And we were like, you know what? If we get to baby time and we are not feeling the cloth diapers, then we're just gonna use disposables. But we're three weeks in and we love the cloth diapers. They're so cute. They are cute. And they feel good to put them on him. Yeah. Um, but also shout out to any absorbent cloth that's around for any liquid that's coming out of anywhere. It's true. So yeah. these are bibs technically but we don't use them as bibs we use them as washcloths or burp rag which he barely ever spits up or, so. or pee catcher yes shout out to baby boys yes <laughs> award-winning um shout out to swaddles because there's this reflex that babies like newborn babies have it's like a startle reflex and it'll wake them up and so shout out to swaddling the baby Gently mm. Shh. Mm. getting him nice and sleepy while he's in a swaddle and then peaceful sleep. I love it. This is a huge shout out. Biggest shout out to all of the breast milk donors in the world. Mm. Absolute rock stars. Yeah. This is a frozen block of breast milk which will feed our child and he is thriving on it and we just feel very thankful yeah we've felt that real very very real feeling of it takes a village mm -hmm. like this is something we couldn't do for him yep but others can and yeah. chose to do that and we have personal yeah, i think part of what's cool is we have personal connections to these donors who have given us milk for elijah and like we have their initials on a lot of the bags so like whenever i pull out a bag i think of that mom yeah. who pumped that milk for our baby mm -hmm. and I'm thankful. I texted Karen the other day, the one who donated that particular bag, and I was like, thank you so much for feeding our baby. He's doing great. And she said, that means so much to hear that. It meant all of those midnight pumping sessions were worth it. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just, it's a sacrifice on their end. It's a way that they can love other children. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's miraculous. I think it's amazing. And shout out to creative moms throughout history. There have been adoptive moms. There have been surrogate moms. I'm not sure the right word for it, but moms who are moms, but it didn't carry their babies in their wombs. Mm -hmm. There's something called adoptive breastfeeding. Now, you can induce lactation. We didn't, I didn't do that. But I breastfeed Elijah by an SNS. So it's a supplemental nursing system. This is just a simple version that works really well for us. And basically you latch your baby like normal, like you're about to breastfeed. And then once they start sucking, you slide this little tube about an inch into their mouth. And that's how they get the milk. I've also had friends who are typical breastfeeding moms and they needed to use the SNS for a time when they were under supplying or if their baby needed supplementing for whatever reason. And it's been cool to hear how this little tool can be helpful for so many different moms in so many different scenarios in life. And it's been an amazing way of bonding and yeah. it's been, yeah, just a sweet start Obviously adoption is a different kind of beginning for a family mm -hmm. and we consider it a blessing to be able to spend these newborn days and bonding and this is one of the sweetest 
blessings of being able to breastfeed him and nourish him and comfort him in a unique way and it's been yeah. a blessing to us he loves it I, I love it Mary loves it I love okay that's probably new favorite my favorite is coming down and seeing Mary breastfeeding him and just the yeah the love and the bonding and the comfort that he's finding in our family and mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing and shout out to Mary <laughs> because she is a rock star shout out to Peter oh my goodness also shout out to lactation consultants yeah. at the hospital where he was born the nurses who are so supportive and helpful starting a breastfeeding journey is not easy and shout out to the lactation consultant here in Durham who helped us before we went. I mean, it takes a village and it has been just such a sweet, sweet blessing. Shout out to other adoptive moms who gave me guidance and wisdom and continue to cheer me on. It's been beautiful. Wow, I feel like this should be a regular thing over here on the Fry Life. Sh shout out Monday or something. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, he's probably going to wake up soon, so I'm going to get ready to feed him. So I'm going to go thaw that breast milk and pour it in this bottle and then feed my baby. Amazing.